Hey, so today I want to talk about unlocking the AT&T Microsoft Surface Duo. So this is a locked Surface Duo on AT&T. Here's the serial number kind of covered up here. Uh, you'll need this serial number later. We'll talk about that here shortly. So make sure you get the serial number, get your IMEI of this device. Head over to the AT&T Unlock portal and request the unlock for your Surface Duo. If you're not a customer, no worries. I'm not either. Select no under that question. S type in your IMEI number here and then you'll go through the typical I'm not a robot verification and then also just check the box that you read all the legal terms, hit next and request your unlock from AT&T. Now, once you've done that, you can check your status of your unlock by typing in your IMEI and the AT&T request number. Here you can see I requested this on August 12th. We'll get to the timing overall. Uh, here in a bit, but I just wanted to show you once it shows the current status of pending, you're going to want to head over to Microsoft's website so that way you can contact their support. So head over to Microsoft.com. You can then scroll to the bottom and there's going to be a contact Microsoft link. Select the contract. Microsoft, sign into your Microsoft account if you have one. If not, I would suggest creating one and then select get started. Under the help, you're going to want to type in Surface Duo Unlock, get help. And then once you've selected that, you're going to want to ignore everything under recommended and immediately select contact support. Under the product, select Surface. Under category, you're going to want to select technical support. Make sure you select that technical support. That's really important. Product family, select your Surface Duo. Uh, go ahead and select that again. So Surface Duo, so that way you can see Surface, technical support, and Surface Duo confirm. Now you can select chat with a support agent in your web browser. That's the one I would suggest. Otherwise, you'll be on the phone for several hours. Once you've done that, you will now be in the queue to talk with a Microsoft agent. When you get to an agent, you're going to want to make sure you provide not only your IMEI and your serial number. Again, make sure you provide your serial number. I don't have it typed there in the blurb, but it's going to be really important that you provide your serial number for your Surface Duo because that's how the Microsoft agent is going to be able to get your unlock code. So provide your serial number, your IMEI, and then your uh, request unlock code from AT&T. Now you can see here, it took 27 days for the agent to assist me. So from 8-12 to today, September 8th, to get me my unlock code, you'll receive that unlock code via email. Again, make sure you're diligent enough and you keep checking AT&T's website. You follow up with the Microsoft reps to make sure you're still gonna get this code. They will close your case before you get the code as a heads up. So don't be alarmed. It does take them a few days to get your unlock code internally at Microsoft, but they will be the ones to provide you the unlock code, not AT&T. So now that we have the unlock code, I wanted to show you the process really quick. So you'll Go ahead and power up the Surface Duo, put in your SIM of choice. I'm using a Google Fi SIM here. I also use my T-Mobile SIM. You'll see the SIM network unlock pin screen show up on Surface Duo once you've inserted your SIM. We're gonna go ahead and type this in really quick. And as you can see, we now have the code typed in. It's requesting, boom, it's really quick. Success, I, since it was so fast, I wanted to show you a quick screenshot here. SIM network unlock is successful. So success, super excited to see that the unlock work. You can see the LTE showing up now in the corner of the device from my Google Fi SIM. The Surface Duo is now unlocked. You can see the carrier there under the carrier settings. Super excited to see that this process worked. It did take quite a few days, almost a month. Let me know if you have any questions. I left these steps in the description of this video below. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.